good morning students now coming to sexual reproduction in bacteria you know bacterial cells they reproduce by two methods one is asexual reproduction second one is uh, sexual reproduction so asexual reproduction is also two types in favorable conditions it takes place by binary fusion but in unfavorable conditions asexual reproduction takes place by formation of endospores but sexual reproduction in bacteria actually bacterial cells also reproduce sexually reproduce sexually but true sexual reproduction is absent in bacteria so true sexual reproduction is absent true sexual reproduction is absent in a bacteria but what is a true sexual reproduction sexual reproduction means formation of male and female gametes okay and fusion of male and female sexual gametes formation of zygote sexual reproduction it includes all the seeds formation of gametes fusion of gametes and formation of zygote but in bacterial cells there is not the formation of male and female gametes there is not the fusion of male and female gametes not the formation of zygote so the sexual reproduction in which these events are completely absent such a reproduction is not considered as the true sexual reproduction so true sexual reproduction is absent in bacteria however the transfer of genetic material from one bacterium to the next bacterium it takes place by some special methods so true sexual reproduction is absent however the transfer of genetic material and essence of sexual reproduction takes place by some special methods such methods are called recombinations they are called recombinations so the sexual reproduction takes place by recombinations in bacterial cells and these recombinations are also three types means sexual reproduction in bacterial cells this is uh, three types one is uh, one is called uh, conjugation one is uh, conjugation this is uh, the first method of uh, sexual reproduction second one is uh, transformation okay transformation this is uh, the next uh, and second method and third method this is uh, transduction transduction this is uh, the third method in this way there are total three different kinds of sexual reproductions in bacterial cells and uh, this is the transfer of genetic material and uh, this uh, special type of sexual reproduction takes place by recombinations uh, in bacterial cells first coming to the first uh, method this is uh, conjugation very very important one is uh, conjugation so this is the first method of uh, recombinations in bacteria the transfer of genetic material direct cell to cell contact direct cell to cell contact this is uh, considered as uh, the conjugation the transfer of genetic material direct to cell to cell contact the transfer of genetic material that takes place direct to cell to cell contact that is considered as conjugation first this conjugation type of sexual reproduction was discovered by e l thatam e l thatam and leder berg scientist leder berg discovered by e l thatam and uh, leder berg the first time in bacterium escherichia coli escherichia coli bacterium escherichia coli simply this is also considered as e coli first discovered in e coli by scientists 
E L Thaka and the leather part. So this is the type of sexual reproduction in which the genetic material is transferred between the two cells by direct to cell to cell contact. Was discovered by E L Thaka and the leather part in bacteria Escherichia coli. E coli bacterial cells. So hence, you know, in E coli bacterial cells, there are two different kinds of strains in E coli. For example, this is uh, one of the strain. This is one of the E coli cells. This is the normal nucleoid. Nucleoid. Okay. Some E coli cells they contain small circular naked self-duplicating extra segments of DNA outside of the nuclei that is in cytoplasm. Such a extra segment of DNA double stranded naked circular extra segments of DNA present in cytoplasm. This is called a F plasmids. This is called F plasmid. Okay, F plasmid is present in some E. coli cells. So the E. coli cells which contain F plasmid, such cells are called F plus cell, and this is also called donor cell. This is also called donor cell. So some of the E. coli cells they contain F plasmid in cytoplasm. Now, these E. coli that contain F plasmids in cytoplasm are called F plus cells and also called donor cells. Such type of plasmids are present in outside of the nuclei that is in cytoplasm. Such type of E. coli cells are called F plus cells. Okay. Now, some of the E. coli cells, the next strain of E. coli cell. This is uh, another E. coli. Here, this is uh, the cell, and uh, this is uh, the normal nuclei. Okay, here there is no the special F plasmids in this type of E. coli cells. No F plasmids in E. coli cells. Only circular naked normal DNA present in nuclei. There is not the F plasmids inside the cytoplasm. So the E. coli cells without F plasmids, such cells, they are considered as this is a nuclei and no plasmid, F plasmid, no F plasmid. Such type of cells they are called F minus cell. Okay, this is also called recipient cell recipient cell okay and is also called acceptor cell acceptor cell in this way e coli cells are represented by two different strains one type of e coli cells are called f plus cells or donor cells and second type of cells they are called f minus cells or recipient cells and also considered as a acceptor cell. In this way, there are two different kinds of bacterial cells in a E. coli. But what is the difference, sir? What is the main difference between these plus cells and minus cells? Plus cells contain F plasmids. Minus cells have no F plasmids. So, there are two different kinds of E. coli cells. During the time of conjugation, okay? These uh, F plus cells, for example, this is a uh, F plus cell, okay, and uh, this is a uh, F minus cell, okay. During the time of conjugation, F plus cells and uh, F minus cells they come close together. They come close together like this, okay. This is a F plus cell and uh, this is a F minus cell. Okay. First, plus and minus cells they come close together like this. Then, these plus cells 
they also contain sex pili like this plus cells they contain some sex pili pili means just like a flagella these uh, bacterial cells they also contain some fine hair like uh, structures that help in uh, attachment of the bacterial cells the lateral appendages the fine hair like appendages present in bacterial cells that help in attachment of the bacterial cells such as organs of oil they are uh, pili sex pili pili they are nothing but very sharp fine hair like structures which are chemically made up of a protein pilin such a pili also called a fimbriae so this pili okay pili also called a fimbriae pili also called a fimbriae so in this way these type of cells they come close together and a uh, uh, plus cells also contain this uh, of plus in a f plus cells they contain a fimbriae means pili by using this pili with the help of this pili plus and minus cells they are uh, physically attached to each other physically attached to each other at the same time some of the pili present in a plus cells they produce a small connecting bridge between the plus and minus cells by using this pili pili they not only help in attachment of bacterial cells pili also help in the formation of a connecting bridge between the two cells so this connecting bridge this is called a conjugation tube this is called conjugation tube in this way conjugation tube is established between the plus cells and minus cells okay you know these plus cells also contain plasmids extra segments of uh, naked circular dna this is a plus cell apoplasmids are present in uh, plus cells so after the physical attachment of this plus and minus cells with the help of uh, pili a small connecting bridge is also formed between the plus cell and minus cell now this connecting bridge connecting link this is also considered as conjugation tube this is called conjugation tube now the plasmid which is present in plus cell the plasmid this is a f plasmid present in plus cell now this f plasmid it is a duplicated f plasmid is a multiplied into two plasmids into two copies so the plasmid is nothing but dna now this dna undergoes a replication or duplication resulting in the formation of one extra copy of plasmid now this plasmid it divides into two plasmids such a multiplication of this plasmid dna into two daughter plasmid dna is called duplication that is also called replication so after the completion of the formation of the conjugation tube between the plus cell and minus cell now the plasmid of this plus cell divides into two copies now one of the copy of plasmid it is a uh, enter into the minus cell through the conjugation tube so the plasmid which is present in plus cell multiplied into two copies now one of the plasmid copy it is migrates into the minus cell through the conjugation tube thus the genetic material present in f cell f plus cell it is a uh, transferred into the f minus cell okay the genetic material which is present in f plus cell is transferred into the minus cell through the conjugation tube this transfer of genetic material takes place by direct to cell to cell contact by the conjugation tube so at the end of uh, conjugation for example this is a uh, f uh, plus cell normal nuclei this is plasmid 
and uh, this is a F minus cell. This is a normal plant nuclei. At the end of conservation, due to the transfer of one copy of the plasmid into the minus cell, this minus cell it is also becomes plus cell. Now this is a F plus cell. Now this minus cell also it is converted into F plus cell due to the transfer of due to the transfer of genetic material from the plus cell. So most important point that is okay at the end of the conjugation F minus cell it becomes a F plus cell due to the migration of a one copy of plasmid from the plus cell into the minus cell. So here the replication of DNA that takes place in a, this conjugation in bacteria, this method of replication of DNA, this is also semi-conservative method, conservative method, semi-conservative method of replication. Semi-conservative method of replication takes place in a binary fission. What is semi-conservative method of replication? First one plasmid DNA divides into two daughter plasmid DNAs. Now each daughter DNA it consists of one old parental strand and other one newly synthesized strand. Presence of one old parental strand and a other newly synthesized strand in daughter DNA molecules, such a method of replication is called semi-conservative method of replication. So, in this method, at the end of conservation, F plus cells, they are converted into F minus cell. So, at the end of this conservation, minus cell, it becomes a plus cell.